I will keep this short because we have many experts in the room who are quite, uh, have quite a little bit more experience than myself. But listening to um, Anna and Jaime, I have two, two, two recent social science uh, facts that I'd like to share with you. One, if we look at poverty, for instance, and economics and jobs are, of course, in the news daily. Uh, in, in the U.S., social science tells us if children make three important decisions in their life, 93% of the time they will never end up in poverty. Three decisions. Three decisions. One, graduate high school, secondary school. Not university, just high school. Graduating high school. Second decision, if they get married, in the right order, we're talking graduation, then marriage. And then the third thing is having children. Doing those three things, those three simple choices, in the United States, you will, 93% of the time, you will never end up in poverty. Not an advanced degree from university, not any kind of uh, special training, just those three simple life choices. And I'm also reminded, um, if we don't think there is a, a crisis among um, parents in Oregon, I, I saw some recent studies on the amount of time that working parents have to spend in conversation with their children to teach those three basic life choices. Now, this is not time spent with the children, but time actually conversing with the children, in conversation with the children. The average parent, and this was included in Europe and the United States and even some uh, of Latin America, if both parents work, mom and dad spend an average of 19 minutes a week in conversation with their children. Now we know there are some here, you, that spend much more than that, but on average, 19 minutes a week in conversation with their children. And then we wonder why they make choices uh, and, and we have such a crisis in the family. So before I enter into um, some, some wonderful uh, presentations, I just want to again reemphasize the term natural family. Uh, it's important, as, as Anna and Jaime pointed out, there are many people that are trying to redefine this term. So let me remind you what the natural family is. And uh, as, as Anna knows, since she's been involved for five Congresses, this is this is a term that we have used since 1998. The natural family is the fundamental social unit inscribed in human nature and centered around the voluntary union of a man and woman in a lifelong covenant of marriage. For these purposes, satisfying the longings of the human heart to give and receive love. Secondly, welcoming and ensuring the full physical emotional and development of children. Third, sharing a home that serves as a center for social, educational, economic, and spiritual life. Fourth, again, these are the purposes of, of the natural family. Building strong bonds among the generations to pass on a way of life that has transcendent meaning. Fifth, extending a hand of compassion to those individuals and households whose circumstances fall short of this ideal. This fifth one to me means a lot because many of, uh, many of those that oppose us always point out the, the, the shortcomings that we all have in our own families. And th they want to throw out the ideal, okay? So we can't, we can't always have a perfect family, then let's just make everything a family. And that is not the way to go about it. We, we strive for perfection. We never get there. We, we all make mistakes. We all commit sins. But we do not throw out the ideal of the natural family just because we're unable to reach it as, as fallible human beings. So uh, I encourage all of you to use this term, the natural family, uh, in, in your conversations. In, in your, it, it, I'll tell you this too. It drives the other side crazy because by definition they are unnatural and who wants to be unnatural so i think we'll open it now for three minute um three minute presentations from many of our distinguished guests i will signal uh kind of like if uh well in the u.s we have baseball you know signals like this but i will i will put up one when you have one minute left i'll warn you 
and then I will stand up. And if you don't stop speaking after I stand up, then I will come and get you. So <laughs> those will be your signals. So we can make sure that, that all of our distinguished guests have a chance to present.